Soon to be, former Prince Harry is talking about the palace drama for the first time since Megxit rumors began. Yeah, pretty clear he's not happy about the Queen's decision. Harry and Meghan declare independence from the Queen, but it comes at a huge cost. Once Meghan and I were married, we were excited, we were hopeful, and we were here to serve. For those reasons, it brings me great sadness that it has come to this. Did they quit or were they fired? Either way, starting this spring, Harry and Meghan will give up their royal titles and then start building their own lives in Canada. Meghan in particular will be able to support causes of women's empowerment uh, that people in the palace here would think were too political. Harry, who served two tours in Afghanistan, says giving up the military titles he was awarded hurts the most. Our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations, but without public funding. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. So what will they do for money? Well, it's the royal version of moving back in with your parents. The British newspaper, The Telegraph, reporting that Harry's father, the Prince of Wales, has agreed to support them for one year after the royal split. And then it's right to work. Meghan could return to her career as an actress. Nobody likes to show off. The Duchess of Sussex signed a voiceover deal with Disney, and Harry is working on a documentary with Oprah. Or royal experts say they could mirror the retirements of former U.S. presidents and start their own foundation. But first, the couple will reimburse British taxpayers that $3.1 million used to renovate their Frogmore Cottage near Windsor Castle. A lot of people love the drama, but at the end of the day, they are still a family. And the Queen says her grandson, Meghan, and baby Archie will always be much-loved members of the royal family.